Hey, hey. Malo, malo, lava. Welcome to the No God Less Man Show. My name is Sammy uh, Griffin, aka Florence Pugh's husband. Uh, <laughs> and this is uh, Chen Anivai. Yes, I am Chen Anivai, as stated by this wannabe someone. Show 23. <laughs> and welcome to the No God Less Man podcast. MK, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode. We are here at Alibi Bar and Grill with another team party. Coco Beats, you know it's Saturday, the 22nd of October. I'm glad I didn't forget the dates. Here we are again. You. You deserve <laughs> thank a you, thank you. you. Thank you. You deserve you. a raise. Give yourself a raise. <laughs> you deserve one of these. Here we are again with a... <laughs> just keep it going. And the cover just came back to me just a little bit. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Like it just hit me like, like a, like, 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 like a brain, like, like a brain pump, pump, you know. Like, Welcome yeah. to the party, mate. Ah, oh, man. Anyway, <laughs> we're here with a special guest all the way from um, Solomon Islands? Yes. We're here with a special guest all the way from Solomon Islands. He is Tara Luko. So, Tara, tell yeah. us, man. Introduce tell us yourself. Well. Introduce yourself, bro. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Your name? <laughs> um, my name is Jaro Luko. I'm from Solomon Islands, like you said. And I'm um, 28. And happily married, as you can see. Nice. And yeah, I think it's all it. That's about it. Yeah. yeah, that's about it. Yeah. And you sing, and you make yeah. music. <laughs> oh, I I work for Jaro Local Song. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do music. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So he's got in front of us. Uh, if you can't see him. Um, Edmund's gonna go to close up of that. Mm -hmm. That's uh, Kava. If you have, if you don't know what Kava is, this is it. I had a taste. I'm not sure and if now I'm you're Kava. to see. Yeah, and now I'm, I'm Kava. Mm -hmm. You can't yeah. judge a book by its cover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. All right, man. Let's get right into it while you're doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, what got you into music? What started you off? Um. So obviously, like everyone knows that my dad was in the music business, mm. Shazi, yeah. So that kind of like keep, he kind of planted the seed, you know, mm. yeah. yeah. And started growing as he gets successful, and then started like um, like inspiring me to do music, yeah. Mm. So that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys have like a very unique sound. I think just you guys, like the boys from Design. Oh, Sean Ray yeah. and like even your dad Chazi as well. Like where does yeah. that influence come from? Um, so I I'd say where we grew up. Mm. Right now. So we grew up in a place, in a beautiful place called White River. Ooh. Yeah. So um, I'm a White River original. Yeah. So where we grew up, we have have all those races, you know, like Micronesians, Melanesians, Polynesians, oh. you know. So. It's like culturally diverse, right? Wow. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So our sound is different because we kind of like the humor and the culture itself for every like race. We kind of like know how to, you know, like be in that place, be in the certain place. So you can't just be for one place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's how our sound came about. Wow. Yeah. Kind of pick from every, you know. Nice, nice. Nah, because it's, it's not like one thing. It's very, very unique. Like everybody yeah. knows when you sing or when you produce a song, it has that quality to it, and it's, like, it's yeah. very easily identifiable. Mm -hmm. It is. You and you produce your own music. I used to produce. So back in 2006, I was producing for Sonry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was the first one to started working on reasons. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're the OG. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then. In the end. So the camera, I'm receiving. Oh yeah, but, but that's I, a sign of a good teacher. You know? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, like true. a good teacher just sit, let the students, you know, flourish. True. Mm -hmm. So what are the like, like the early days like when you guys started out, and then you guys branched off into solo artists? Like, what was that journey like? Well, it was like, well, how did like the band start, and then like, you guys started to break off into? I wish we, um, like could see the future back then mm -hmm. yeah I wish we would have seen eight years before you know because it was the best time you know everything was flourishing you know the writing skills was 
but there's no one to guide, like, like see the vision of what there'll be a Sonwe, there'll be a Jaro Loko, yeah. you know. Mm. Yeah, there was so much energy at the time. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. And not so much now, eh? <laughs> nah, yeah. So what are some of the like struggles you had to overcome to like because I know um when you like you mentioned growing up your dad sort of planted a seed for you mm. but obviously to get to where you are now you had to put in the work yourself yeah. to get it so like what was the defining struggle that you had to overcome um the, that's a good question yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> Yeah, that let thing's go, good let it go, though. Let it go, yes. let it go. It's pretty, it's pretty um, strong. Before I answer that, can we just pass the shell around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Sure, man. Yeah, sure. We we'll start off with you because you asked the question, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah. hey, no, so you did the right thing. You did, you did the right this thing. This is my second one. Mm. All right, let's go, let's go. Maybe the couple. Right, man. Maybe the couple will answer that question. Hey, how do you say cheese in your language? <laughs> <laughs> You'll get another same question. Cheers, guys. I'm just going to encourage him to give you another one. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it happens every time. Like, yeah, yeah, bro. Make sure every it, time. You feel yeah. the numbness after a while. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I it feel is. it already. It's creeping up my tongue. It's like, hello. Yeah. <laughs> we have to go I'm faster. here. No taste buds no. anymore, bro. Yeah. Kick taste out of the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah so. mm, mm. What does it taste like? Mm. I've only tried Vanuatu mm. Kava because I was there and we drank. Well, kava. today you're trying uh, Fiji Kava. Oh. So kava. this is Fiji Kava. Yeah. I've, hey, like Samoan Kava. Hey, bro. Hey. No, you're no, from no, HB. No, you're no, from HB. No. no. Yeah, and you're from Swaziland. Shut up. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Samoan and Tongan cover? Ca- Samoa and Tongan cover, nothing compares to Fiji. Okay, okay. We believe no. you. Believe me, man. Believe me. I, 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 I've oh, tried it. It's really it, nice. It's really nice. No. It always reminds me of uh, so. fresh peanuts. Really? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Like fresh peanuts. I don't taste that at all. Like. What do you taste, Sam? Nothing, what? bro. Nothing. It's like. Uh, how do you. So basically, you know, it's like water. this has turned from an interview with Jaro Local to Kava with yeah, Jaro Local. Yeah, Kava with Jaro Local, yes. Yeah. What an honor, yo. You just write some honors. Nice. Okay, so coming back to your question now. Yeah. Guys. Uh, Papi Swap. Papi Swap? Papi Swap. Oh, that's oh, good. Oh, nice. That is really good. It buzzes, it hits, right? right? It buzzes. After mm. what it you hit, the like first, first, you're first. fine. Put the Quran on. This, this break is probably brought to you by Kava. If you don't know, <laughs> if you don't feel the numbness, you're not, you're not drinking it right. <laughs> Jara local made. Oh, yeah. I would if franchise you don't that feel, shit, man. If you don't feel oh. the numbness, you're not doing it right. What does Dakini Tangarare mean? So Dakini is a girl, mm-hmm. and Tangarare is a place. Oh, so it's a girl from that place. That's like my favorite song. Dakini, yeah. like the Dakini yeah. Tangarare. Bro, I have no idea what it means, but I sing it all the time. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people do, yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, we just had a quick cover break. <laughs> quick cover break? <laughs> Back to the question. Still alive. You want me to repeat the question? Yes, yeah, okay. Please. So what was the struggle that you overcame that defined sort of like the definitive step that you had to take to get to where you are? Ah. Uh. Well, like, because I was in design at the time, mm. yeah, yeah. So, I think the the situations in life kind of, you know, because I was young and I was like experimenting with the the, the music mm. and then going solo, yeah. So the the most important like struggle that I had was like looking for the good like looking for the person that i was to become mm. and the and the sound that would fit that person right yeah like financially and all that stuff we can 
like overcome just in a day or mm, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But deep inside, you're looking for yourself. True. So Everyone's was, on their journey, yeah. Yeah. So I was putting my head straight, like I was getting myself together at the time. So yeah. It's something to do more with your mental health, I think. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's more mental, because music is more mental yeah. than, um, than most people think, because like, people relate to it through like therapy. Yeah. Some people look to it to, for comfort. Some mm. people look to it for happiness and mm. what sort of things. So like, I mean, I get what you're saying. Yeah. It's more of a mindset kind of thing mm -hmm. that you were trying to personally define who you were mm -hmm. as opposed to just trying to make the next best music yeah. that would sell, yeah. basically. So would you say you found that identity that you were looking for or was it, is it still in the works to becoming? Or are you still on that road? I think I'm on that road now, but there's too many potholes, eh? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> of course, that's a good, yeah, that's a good metaphor. Yeah. Yeah. It's, never, it's never a freeway, yeah. True. But what's like one of the, what's one of the number one motivation that keeps you going, like keeps you going despite all of those uh, potholes? And so like everything. I said, it depends on the situations where, that, that you face along the way. Yeah. Yeah, but what always keeps me going yeah. is like family, eh? Mm. Yeah. Because I had a son that time I was going solo. Yeah, back in 2016. So what always keeps me going or on stage to, you know, to do performance. But yeah, the route is for my son, ah. like my family, yeah. Mm. Your son's the biggest motivator. It's just the same oh. with Brandon. And yeah, yeah. Brandon. True. Ever since I had dreads, this kid is an eight-year-old who watches Bob Marley. Oh. When they ask him, like, who's your dad? My dad is a roster man. <laughs> yeah, he's already painted that picture of you. Yeah. Uh, raising them right, raising them right. My buffalo, yeah. so. So I guess, That's like, you, are you, <laughs> is it wrong? Like, do you follow the Rastafarian ways or is it? Um, I'm more into the conscious movement. Right. You know? Talk to me a little bit about that. What is, what's that like? like? So I'm still mm, like learning, mm. but it's more like, like our currency is love. Our religion right. is love. Yeah. yeah. Being positive is the most important thing. Success will come, but you have to stay true to yourself. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And true. right by the people around you. So that's more like the con consciousness mm. more than like <clears throat> material things or whatever. Right. Yeah. So you're more conscious about yourself and the people around you yeah. tied towards your emotions and yeah. your that's mindsets. Wow. You just That's deep man. That no, that's really deep. That's, that's like yeah. That's is a that, good way to leave. Is that what inspires you to write your songs or yeah, where like, do you draw like because you write really, really good songs. Yeah. Like every I've been mean, it's just, it's, it's really good. And how, like, what inspires you to write? Or where do you, like, how, how, how do you refine that? Like, how do you get good at writing songs like you do? Well, a lot of musicians wouldn't say this, but it's a place where we go for comfort. Mm, yeah. That's writing songs. That's yeah. That's how you take something off your mind. Like, that's how you tell the truth. Mm. Even though, like, like we might write about something that is mm. imaginative, but that's that's something that is holding you, you know? Yeah. So I get inspired like for the situations that I'm in. So So are these situations that are happening in your life or like in like around yeah. that you observe? Mainly it's like in my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's like where you get your material from and all the songs. Yes. yes. Yeah. I wanted to ask like when you sing songs and like in your language, do you guys have one language or do you sing in many languages? So we have only 28, I think. 28 languages? Yeah, 28. Oh. Wow, okay. It's quite diverse, eh? That's, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense, we're Pacific Islanders. So yeah, we're very really diverse. We don't speak one language. <laughs> so, not surprised. <laughs> yeah. The cover um, is working. The cover is yeah, working. Yeah, the cover is working. Bro. Boy. No, but nice. I, like, I resonate with what you would what you just said about like, I mean, my, my mind keeps going back to like living with uh, being conscious about, you yeah. know, everything around you. It's like, it's a very chill, mm. more like yeah. being connect with everything and everyone around you yeah. through a more um, 
you know, mind, I don't know how to explain it. Mm -hmm. A conscious level, basically, yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Which is very interesting, because mm -hmm. I've been watching some of the um, Rastafarians' yeah, way yeah. of life, mm -hmm. and um, what they believe in is like, like you said, our currency is love, you know, peace. Mm -hmm. um, they connect with the earth more, and um, you know, the smoke, the ganja that they, that they smoke, it sort of helps them connect to their inner selves and yeah. find find that balance between them and nature sort mm -hmm. of yeah. mm -hmm. true, true, so it's true. like it's like a it's a different it's a different plane of existence yeah, I would yeah. Say. oh yeah yeah because like you you come out of the material world yeah, yeah. and you realize that you have so much more in common with like life itself and mm -hmm. with like existing yeah. as you know coexisting with the earth true yeah, sorry. I just, I just <laughs> nah, nah, I just went good, off. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Kava, Kava. This was conversations with Kava. <laughs> Bro, this is conversations on Kava. Yeah. Kava no, but, but it's it's Kava. good, man. I I totally yeah. resonate with that. Yeah. Um, so what are, what's like some of the artists that you listen to? Like internationally? Or yeah, internationally or locally. Locally, oh yeah. Yeah, that you find inspiration in, you know. You sample from or yeah. get the material as well? Oh, oh, yeah. I, my dad um, was a radio manager mm -hmm. for quite some time. Mm -hmm. From 2004 up until 2012. So I kind of grew up in an FM station kind of. Right, uh, yeah. So I listened to all genre of music. Yeah, yeah. So once I get to that point where I need to like let go of some thought, it kind of connect to what sound I was listening to back then, you know. Mm. Except for some, for some song, I'm level buruk type, but like you could connect easily with Michael Lenz. So, mm. you know, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The chord wouldn't start with a C; it would go a major, you know, right. like minor, yeah, yeah. So I I kind of listen to everything, but like for now I'm I'm listening to um, a lot of Afro, mm -hmm. Afro, yeah, Afro people. yeah. Because yeah. I feel like connected to what they are doing. Yeah, you know? it's, it feels like it sounds similar to your work. Eh? Yeah, but um, like because you know how Africa, like forgive me, but the world knows them like the poor, you know. Mm -hmm what they're going through but the African artists now they kind of like change the picture they are so flashy they mm -hmm. you know yeah true because that's a general thing that BBC shows every time some yeah, 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 kid yeah. in a an EU camp in Africa you know Emma. so like the general idea of African is just yeah. some mm -hmm. wasted country mm -hmm. But it's not true. They They're have so much else. Yeah, true. They have so much more to offer. It's yeah. it's the same like mainstream media just tarnishes reputations a lot. Yeah. You shouldn't watch news. <laughs> Don't watch news. <laughs> Especially like, MTV news. That's the cover talking right there. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, yeah. No, but like, like, like yeah. what is that? Did you just describe to us <laughs> your process of creating a new like a new? Yeah, music? I was just about yeah. to ask that like. It, it, so you listen to like the kind of music that you listen to yeah. and then you sort of pick and sample stuff yeah. from it and then you create the, the songs that you create. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That, that, that why, I think that's why a lot of people connect to your music as well because you write it from a place where you're not like writing with because the music sounds good mm. or it's like trending. It's like you're, you're listening to music that you connect with. Yeah. And then you link it back to a memory, a time in your life, yeah, and then you write from that place. So whenever you produce music, like it's you can feel it. Like that's, yeah. I can't really describe it. Like you can just feel it, and it's it resonates with people. I think that's why your your music is very popular. It's just, mm. it just doesn't just sound good. You know, like some yeah. people write really good music that sounds good, and then there's some that just write really good music that it's it's timeless. Like it's, it's timeless. It's not exactly, something that you yeah. play and then you get bored of. It's yeah. whenever someone plays it, like okay, I'm number blue me, yeah, let's go. Let's because with, so, with the technological era now, like, <laughs> everybody can make music yeah. from a laptop, right? Yeah, yeah. But there's beauty in like having a process, mm. like, like similar to yours or any other artist that they go to to find inspiration and like yeah. sample each sound and emotion from you know, each thing that creates this beautiful thing on its own. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing, man. 
True. What do you think about this? Um, have you been to PNG before? Oh, Obviously. I've been coming since 2015. 15? Yeah. What's the biggest event you've performed in? Hmm. Oh, man. Too many, too many to come. True, yeah. What's the most memorable one? You hey. still remember? <laughs> the craziest thing. PNG, I'm crazy PNG. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of the unexpected, what did you expect? Yeah. Yeah. What are we expecting tonight? Oh. For those people who are missing out, you know, who yeah, are not, who not who didn't come tonight. Yeah. We're gonna watch the highlight reels and everything. Weaklings. What are we expecting tonight? So like I said earlier, like it's it's just a process of finding who you are uh, as an artist. Mm. So you're missing out on the the, the Jaro local now. Ah, yeah. Not the Jaro local then, but the yeah, Jaro local yeah, now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> because the Jaro local now is not going to be the same as the Jaro local next week. That's true. Yeah, because you're constantly evolving, you know? Yeah. You took a break from music for a while? Yeah. Because I've got good people around me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they kind of like manage the talent, eh? Mm -hmm. So. When you see artists go on breaks, maybe they're working on themselves like into rehab or something, but uh, mostly it's about writing new songs, making new music. Mm. And stuff. Yeah. So that's why I took the break, but it's more of like me making new music. Nice. Yeah. How was the break for you? Well, Refreshing. Yeah, me making Trampler picking anymore. Yes, that's a good How many kids you got now? Uh, Five. Three. Nah, nah, three, two, three. Yeah. 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 Cool, cool. Yeah. How many you plan uh, to stop? Mrs. Stop, full stop. But me talking, I'm just coma. Which is half time, half time. It's good to have you back. Yeah, it's good to have you back. Yeah, no, it's good to have you back. Mm. What, um, what would your message be to like any upcoming artists? Yeah, yeah I, I, I get that question a lot. Mm. Mm. And there's a lot of things in my head going like, like believe in yourself, yeah. never give up, be positive, and all that. But I'm gonna tell you, like business-wise, hey, yeah. if you like an aspiring artist, look eight years in the future. What are you becoming? What would you become? Who are you going to let guide you to that? Place. True. That's true. That's all about it. Cause it's passion. At go passion, go now. Money becomes mm. it. Money come now. People change. True. But you know, arrive law. When I'm up, you should arrive like mad. But you just spoil everything. Burn every bridge. You mean it? So get a good manager. This one I'm just talking about business side, huh? Yeah. No artist. Yeah, no, Get a right, good man. manager. Marry that manager. <clears throat> I mean, like you. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, get a good manager. Yeah, you can need to share him same mutual feeling. Eh. True. Think him. Cause he mouthpiece blue, he must be married. Mm. Okay, or something. So business wise, if you're an aspiring artist, think eight years now. Eight years, what would you be talking? We talk eight years old, but you can go twenty. Mm. Uh. True. No, I, I agree with what you're saying, cause like artists don't necessarily have good managers especially in PNG a lot of them lack managers don't have really managers over there, solo yeah. like I don't know it's it's good that you're starting to tell people to get but despite managers. all of that like it's yeah. good to see you guys succeeding yeah. yeah and making making a way for all these up and coming mm. artists to come but imagine if they have managers bro managers True. they just I don't know it's just another game honestly mm -hmm. It's another level, right? Yeah. You get it. Because then you have to, you focus on the music part, yeah, and someone else just worries about, you know, booking gigs, getting your Facebook or social media running, M and then all of that other stuff. Yeah. Make sure you get paid, you know. All the same thing. So you're more focused on, okay, I have yeah. to put new music out, you make an appearance, okay, this is your show, this is your show, that sort of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, bro. So Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm still... Go for it. Anything else you want to say or you want to say? No. That's it. Like, you already have the talent. Ah, yeah. yeah. You already have the talent. You just need people, the right people. Surround yourself with the right people. Yeah. Your talent would go. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. So true. Anyway, this is it from us. If he didn't come, we're gonna cut to outside. We're gonna ask a few people how his performance was. Maybe we catch up with him after the show and then, uh, yeah. So, uh, cue video clip here. Hey man, so what's your name? Name Louis Peter. Name, oh, name Louis Peter. Name Louis Peter. All right, man. All right. How are you finding tonight, Peter? It's right, but I'm not a trailer. <laughs> My man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are you finding tonight, man? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. Everybody was there in the morning. That's good. That's good. It's going to be a bit hard to find, but that's good, man. That's good, man. You liking the music? He gives it five, man. You liking the music? Ah, uh, see, see, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right, Lily. That's good. That's good. How about the atmosphere, the vibe? You liking everyone coming out to pack out, pack out alibi? Good luck, good luck, good luck. That's good. Is your first, is your first time? Is your first time at one of his events? Me so sleep, bro. I'm not Oh, you so sleep. Me, 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 me. Oh, okay, okay. So you, so you, so you come to a lot of these events? Oh, one more time. One more time. I want him to so stop it. I come. All right. Did you come to the last one at Hilton? In the name of nowhere. Hola. Hola and hola. Hola, amigo. Hey, one more time. Hola, see you. All right, see you. Right. You think you're fun, you know. One more time. One more time. <laughs> All right, have a good night, man. I know you. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Anthony, Anthony. Hi, Anthony. How are you finding tonight? Is it good? Yeah, it's, it's fine. Ah, okay, that's good. That's good to hear. Have you been to uh, Have you been to some of these uh, parties by Kick Crew? Yes, I have. Uh, a lot, bro. Yeah. Uh, ever since they came out, I've been here. Yeah. How do you, How do you like them? Like they, they they put on some great parties, eh? Well, I swear, if they didn't, I wouldn't be here. Oh, fuck yeah, 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 yeah. So you a big uh, Afro Beach fan? Of course I am. Oh, yeah. What's your What's your favorite song? Like uh, your favorite Jaro local or like your favorite old song? Jaro local. Yeah. Jaro local. Yeah. Right. Half my light time. Half, half my light time. Oh shit! Solo that is represent. What? Yeah. yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm full Southern Island, so I don't know. Pardon? <laughs> I'm full Southern Island, so I don't know. But neither am I. Huh? <laughs> It's a good night. It's so good to see you yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, 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 honestly, Kick Crew, Kick Crew provides the best entertainment, bro. Come to Kick Crew next time. Refresh! Hey, what's up, guys? We're here at the uh, Alibi. This is Suja. Hi! How you finding so far? Awesome! Pacific Island Melanesian vibes! She's drunk? Totally. <laughs> Wasted. <laughs> Are you excited to see Jaro Local? I mean, he's performing right now. Definitely, definitely. You're here with friends, you know? Uh, partner and yes, friends. So we're all couples, we're here together. It's a good time out, so yes. How are you finding the KK events? Is this your first one? Um, no, this is like my third one, actually. Third one. And yeah, I love it. Kick it, kick it to me, it's doing really good. Love it. Love the vibes, too. Awesome. All right, we'll let you go back to enjoying it. Good music, good vibes. See you then. Vibing, you know, the movement. Uh, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Uh, really turn it up with Diggy Nice tonight, bro. Definitely, bro. You turn it up every fucking time. Every fucking time, bro. Well, bro, when you're being, you know, one of the, you know, PNG's a premium, uh, you know, beer brands out in the country, I mean, you just gotta stand out there. You gotta, you gotta have to, like, amplify your voice. Get it known to people that, you know, New Guinea Eyes, when you go to party, New Guinea Eyes will always stand it up, bro. So bringing in, like, kind of parties like this right here, I mean, we've partnered with Kick for, like, so long. And, uh, like, now it's, like, coming into the Coco vibes, kind of, like, festival kind of, like, feel what... Like, we've done hip-hop and stuff like that, and now we're coming into, like, the island vibes kind of thing. Bring in Jaro Local, it's just the first of it. We're looking forward to, like, doing more with this, uh, Kick Entertainment, and uh, partnering with them. Yeah, loving it, bro. Okay, man, you heard it first. You give me eyes, turning it up every time. All right. Now we're back. We are going to say goodnight to you guys. He's going to go perform. Our, we're not going to disturb him anymore. The cover's working. I'm fumbling up my words. <laughs> so, <laughs> without further ado, thanks, guys. Appreciate your time. Peace. Peace. Thank you, my boy. Thank you, my brother. Can we take a photo? Yes, please. Yeah.